We'll take a look at these stunning images, a new 3D scan of the Titanic. And when you look at these, I mean, you can see the detail in it. I mean, the detail is just absolutely extraordinary. We have several different uh, ones that we are going to show you throughout here. But I want to bring in our special guest right here on live now from Fox from Atlantic Productions, uh, the powerhouse that really came uh, with this together along with Magellan. Uh, this is uh, Anthony Gellin. We appreciate you coming on here on live now from Fox and first off can you just uh, tell our viewers here uh, just what went into this massive project okay well if I go back five years um, I went and made a, a film on the Titanic now the Titanic at that time had not been seen uh, by anybody for 14 years prior to that so the film was then very much about getting new uh, amazing footage with 4k and other cameras but as I was leaving I suddenly realized that if we could somehow scan the Titanic, if we could capture this incredible detail that's down there, then we could really understand the Titanic, how it sank, the people who went down with it, and so many other things. So I teamed up with Magellan, who are uh, put together an amazing package, an ability to, to scan the Titanic. You know, had the submarine technology, a submersible technology, and all the other technology to, to really do what has never been done before. Uh, which is to, to, to literally, it's a twin. This is a digital twin here we have. And so you can see every single detail. If you put a pair of virtual headset on, you could actually walk around at full scale the site underwater. Uh, and to demonstrate the, the site, the BBC actually put the model this week in an Olympic st our Olympic Stadium in London. And you would not believe how big just even the front, uh, the front of the section of the ship is. Um, but from our point of view, what, what was fantastic, and I want, I want to show you how the kind of stories that were coming out of that. Um, we, have the, we have the Titanic, then we have an area called the debris field. And in the debris field, one of our experts um, found uh, boiler room one. Now, there's always been controversy. What happened and who kept the lights on for those final minutes uh, of, the, of the sinking of the Titanic? And in boiler room one, we found that it imploded at the top, which means we now know the people, because we know who were keeping the lights on as the ship sank. Another completely different story. On the, on the, on, actually, on the ship, the, obviously, we know about the, the lifeboats being launched. Well, the life, there's always been a lot of controversy. There's a guy called Officer Murdoch, who's actually in Jim Cameron's movie. And, and what, what's amazing is he's a villain, supposedly. But what we found is we found that he couldn't launch the last lifeboat because it had jammed. We've actually still got the piece that jammed it, which is called the Davit. So, uh, so many stories. Now, another, another, some other stories, which I think are extraordinary. On this three-mile area surrounding the Titanic on one of the sides, you have the debris field, where all the belongings came out of the Titanic and into the debris field. If you go and look at those, you find watches, you find a Megalodon uh, brooch or something that went around someone's neck, you find wine bottles. I mean, literally, people's lives are out there. And we find out that if we could get, which we did, every photograph anywhere of the Titanic, uh, or people on the Titanic, we could then start to match the objects in the debris field back to people, which is pretty extraordinary because you're almost like bringing the people who were on the Titanic back to life. So, and, and at the center of all this, the most important thing is, is how did it sink? Now, there have been lots of speculation over the years as to how, how it sank, but We've now got the model, as it were, an exact replica. So we are going to be able to, and we've already started this process. We've started to put the, the wreck, as it were, back together, and we're going to show exactly how the Titanic sank, and indeed how it hit the iceberg, because there's so much we don't know. Yeah, that is going to be uh, really, really impressive. And to see, to see and recreate that timeline like never before, I mean, I, I can't wait for, uh, to see something like that. And, you know, when we talk about the Titanic and there's just so much, uh, it doesn't matter if it's just any news headline I see on it, and this not only for me, but for countless others, when they see something, an update on the Titanic, why do you think it just really strikes to people and they want to read it, they want to get the latest updates, and they also want to see the latest timelines. I think that's a really good question. I think what, what we see with the Titanic, it's something that has built up more in the last 111 years since it sank. More and more and more. The mystery, what happened. Partly because we don't know, 
And partly because it's just one of those extraordinary things, this vast ship goes to sea and somehow sinks. But I think what, why the, this latest release has been so huge is that we're now bringing new technology like AI and scanning techniques to bring to bear on that, on that history. So now not only have you got the fascination with the mystery, but you've also got high tech trying to look at what happened. And I think that is an, that's why this week this, this news coming out has just exploded across the world. Um, and I don't think that the mystery will ever disappear. I think it will increase, but I think those two worlds, you know, for the next generation. And what's really exciting, we're making a film about all of this, but we're also going to make digital experiences where in the future, you with AR and VR will be able to walk yourself into the Titanic and, you know, around the world, but also in your own home. That's an incredible way, isn't it, to experience history. We've never experienced history like that. This is probably one of the greatest moments. You know, it's a tragedy, but the greatest moments in history for you to walk around the Titanic and understand its history. I think it's going to be a really big thing. No, that, that will be a big thing where, where it's never been seen or, or done before and that it will be so impressive. But uh, tell us also, Anthony, what is the timeline for, for all of this? I mean, the, the, these are great uh, uh, projections here, but uh, let us know uh, when y you could start seeing maybe the film first and then these uh, new experiences. Yeah, I think we've got another six months and then I think the film will be ready because we're following the science. The real science has been done on the wreck. And then I think you'll find the digital experiences a year or so out because we're waiting for some of the technology you need to do those experiences. But, but I think, you know, as, as we move closer into this extraordinary story, what I love is you don't have to be an expert. You can share an amazing piece of history and understand it for yourself. Yeah, totally, totally. And what I always wonder too, and I wonder if if you have thought about this as well, what would have happened if the Titanic didn't veer and try to miss the iceberg but hit it head on? What would have happened to that ship? Now that's a really good question, and it's one of the things that we've got the top experts looking at. Till now, all people have been able to do is take photographs of the Titanic and speculate. We can go down and we can look at rivet by rivet on the Titanic. And we can then deduce what happened. Because I think we're going to be surprised. I don't think the official records are going to be right because they're just speculation. We have the Titanic now to look at and find out where it hit, how it hit, and then how it fell apart. So suddenly science uh, has, is going to play a very big part in this. Yeah, it really will be, and uh, it's just going to be something and so impressive to see all down the line when you guys uh, uncover each by uh, really room by room or when that is uh, able to happen there and the science will be able to follow everything. Uh, anything else that uh, you'd like to add uh, before we go here? I mean, this, this was great that you were able to share no, this. No, I, I just think, I think that this, this technology is brand new. It's brand new to people. It's the biggest underwater scanning in history. It allows us to bring back areas of science and, 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 you know, a wreck that we now can look at. And I think that's, that's interesting. Then on the other hand, we're using artificial intelligence in a really cool way here, which is to identify belongings that belong to people from the Titanic. So I love the fact we're using the latest, latest technology to, to do this. And then there'll be a documentary, which obviously will be world class. But, but I think as we move forward, this is an experience that the public's going to have with the Titanic. It's going to last several years, and it's going to be the next three or four years we're going to be living different elements because what we've got is so extraordinary. This is really just the beginning. Yeah, and we can't wait to, to see the uh, next products that you guys push out there. And uh, let's talk before the documentary comes out. I would love to talk to you again and uh, uh, get your feel there on how it's uh, going to be. We really appreciate it, though, Anthony. Not at all. Really nice to speak to you. You too. Have a great one, and we will continue to bring everyone the latest here on Live Now from Fox, coming up next.